Welcome to Drawfee, where we take dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I'm Nathan. I'm Julia. I'm Jacob. And I'm Terrence. Guys, Terrence is here, uh, host of Whatever We Call It podcast, uh, freelance game journalist, all around wonderful good boy on the internet, has come here to take us on a journey into the land of demons and waifus. Into our own twisted psyches. Into our own twisted psyches. We're doing a persona for memory today, guys. It's a it's a video game that Caldwell is very into. Uh, I I know that, so that's why he's not yeah, here. So we booted him out. Yeah, he <laughs> said you you like this thing too much. We have to we have to catch up. Um, and uh, but Terrence, Jacob's into it. Yeah, Jacob's into it. Terrence is very into it. It was it was Terrence's idea to do this episode. And I feel like we're gonna get some real real gross shit out of it. <laughs> <laughs> so. It'll be A plus work. So yeah, Terrence, can you, uh, can you, s- since I don't know what I'm talking about when it comes to Persona, can you do a, a little, a little explanation of, of what it is? So Persona is a spinoff of the original Shin Megami Tensei series, which, which, which is based off of a book from 1987, which they made into a video game in 1990. I want to say the original book was about demons attacked a high school or so, or there was a kid who was being picked on. And he, like, summoned demons, and then, like, they had, and, like, one, the protagonist of the book had to figure out how to, like, bargain with the demons so he can get through the school and, like, rescue his friends or whatever. I want to say that's what the original book is about. They also made an anime for it. Sounds just like my high school experience. (laughs) (laughs) And then uh, Persona, the first Persona, I'm not sure what year that came out, but um, it, uh, let's see, Shin Megami Tensei Persona. Are you just reading the wiki? I am because I don't remember when the first <laughs> game came out. Um, well, we Terrence could have done not that. As into it as we <laughs> were I didn't, like I, I know a lot about Persona, but I don't like I did not touch this series until way later because it's been going for thirty years. It's dense. It's a there's what like fifty games, and they're all like kind of RPGs or full on RPGs. And Persona is like half JRPG dungeon crawler, half slice of life anime part detective novel it's a real hodgepodge of a game it's a a whole lot of stuff and the average game to beat is like 100 hours so well uh i that that all sounds good to me let's get drawing yeah man yeah i hope you know 30 years worth of personas jacob (laughs) yeah you're our ringer for the day i sure don't jacob is the only person drawing who has played any persona game yeah so terrence is gonna give me a a demon name yeah I'm going to try my best. Persona. A demon persona. Is that correct? Depends on which game you're playing. <laughs> so, so Persona's is Persona's, but in like the mainline Shimagami series and everything else are normally known as demons. Okay. Yeah. And they're and they're kind of like stands from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure? Yes. Cool. Good. Those are two references I know nothing yeah. about. <laughs> Thanks. Julia, did, you did such a good job drawing stands. Thank you. When we did it. None uh, of these clues have helped me so far. <laughs> All right, give Jacob his persona. All right, Jacob, your persona is Rusalka. Rusalka. Yeah, R-U-S-A-L-K-A, Rusalka. In Slavic mythology, a Rusalka were a female ghost, water nymph, succubus, or mermaid-like demon that lived in a waterway. That's a lot of different things. (laughs) It's Moaning Myrtle from Harry Potter. (laughs) Yeah, pretty much. It's Trump Moaning Myrtle. A reference I understood. (laughs) Thank you. It says, according to most traditions, the Rusalki were fishwomen who lived at the bottom of rivers. In the middle of the night, they would walk out to the bank and dance in meadows. If they saw a handsome man, they would fascinate them with songs and dancing, mesmerize them, then lead the person away to the river floor to their death. Nice. Just like my ex-wife. <laughs> like my ex-wife. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, they're sirens that that don't want to go out into the ocean. Yeah, they're river, river or lake sirens. I feel like we need to edit uh, in an audience laugh track after Terrence yeah. says that. <laughs> yeah. I hope every persona we get can be described as uh, Terrence's ex-wife. <laughs> it was a very troubled relationship. <laughs> she was always trying to drown me. This is like a, a fish lady ghost. It's like a fish lady ghost. I'm just going to get into it. I also like when he first said Rasalka, I heard kind of like like sulky. Yeah. So um, it's it's gonna be like a, a really bummer seductive fish lady. So so it really is moaning myrtle. It really is moaning myrtle. Yeah. It's <laughs> so where J K got the idea. J K was really into the Persona games. <laughs> Just kidding, Rowling. <laughs> I mean, the first one came out in '96, and that Harry Potter came out in what '98. Oh wow! Yeah, it lines up. She loved Persona. <laughs> 
It lines up. And she was like poor living on the streets <laughs> writing Harry Potter on napkins. She was also jamming down on Under Shin Megami Soda. Tensei. Yeah, she loves she loves to game. <laughs> She's got all those castles now, but they're just full up with with wall size projectors and uh she's playing big games of Mario Kart. Oh, look at this sad look at this what sad is that lady. Picture you've drawn. <laughs> it looks like Squirtle's mom. <laughs> <laughs> Squirtle, why do you always have to go out and battle? <laughs> Squirtle, why don't you come visit me anymore? <laughs> oh. Oh, Squirtle. Squirtle's mom. Squirtle's mom is not part of the Squirtle evolution chain. It's just it's just a sad turtle. It's just a sad fish oh, woman. Oh, I like the fish tail on top of the head. That's why she's so sad. She's <laughs> like, I can't be like other fish. <laughs> My shit's all fucked up. <laughs> I have to live this way. <laughs> So she's, she's not luring anybody anywhere. Well, she lures you in with like guilt trips. <laughs> oh, I see. Oh yeah, like, you never come visit anymore. You never I mean, come visit the bottom of the river anymore. Why don't you wear that sweater I knitted for you all those years ago? That's fine. I only spent several months on it. It's okay. It's full of cement. It's full of cement. It'll make me sink. <laughs> well, if you don't like it, I guess that's fine. I was just trying to keep up with the fashion trends. I know you young kids. It's like, fine, I'll put it on and jump in the river. <laughs> You're making your mother proud. This, this is the origin of the Squirtle Squad. Yeah. Pokemon Origins. You heard it here first. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is where Squirtle got the idea to wear glasses. Squirtle was like, I'm going to wear cooler glasses. Than my dumb mom. Oh, you got a nice dorsal fin going. Yeah, because they said it was like a mermaid succubus fish ghost. So I got like a ghost tail mm -hmm. down here too. And just, just so alluring. <laughs> just so, so alluring. Well, let's get like maybe like a little bikini. Oh, thank you. Yes. <laughs> a little bitty bikini going. Squirtle's mad. He's just like, oh, Mom, do you not wear that in public? I have to lure sailors to their doom. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, you know, listen, I don't judge you for the job you chose. This is what I was good at. You should have seen me back in the day. Th and this is the exact same bra I used to wear. Your father really enjoyed the siren dance I used to do for him. Before he drowned. <laughs> Before I dragged him to the bottom of the river. <laughs> Mom, please stop telling, stop telling these stories. She's just got some tough to pair. little hair. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a popcorn. Yeah, why not? So this is, what What was this thing's name again? Rasulka? Rasulka. Rasalka. Rasalka. I think that's an actual, like, mythos from England, from what I remember. Well, he said it was Slavic. Slavic. Oh, Slavic, yeah. Like, pretty much everything in Persona is based off of some old mythology. All right, well, this is done. Okay. That's, that's Rasalka. So there's Rasalka. Luring men to their uh, dooms. Let's look up what Rasalka looks like. <laughs> oh, yeah, let's compare. pull up the real image. This one? Yeah, because it's... That's from, like, the original Personas, it looks like. That's just a naked lady. Yeah, that's just a green naked lady. As it turns out, guys, it was just a green naked lady. That's my favorite 90s band. Green... <laughs> my... But then there's also this one that looks like a... What the like hell a, is that? Like, like an umbrella. Like an umbrella. It's like a... It's like a, a it looks like a Pokemon. Fountain. Interesting you say that, because it's from uh, Demi Kids, or Devil Children, which was basically the Shin Megami Tensei of Pokemon. It was, like, the kids' version of uh, Shin Megami Tensei. That would explain it then, huh? I mean, it's crazy because uh, they managed to make something less alluring than what Jacob drew. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come in the water with me. The umbrella fountain. I'm an umbrella fountain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's lovely. Well done. Uh, it's only going to get worse from here. It's my turn to draw. Which persona am I drawing, Terrence? Your persona is the Obarion. O-B-A-R-I-Y-O-N. This is, is a uh, Japanese piggyback demon from local for folklore. <laughs> While a person is walking along a woodland or grassy path, the Obarion may jump out and attach itself to their back. While it cannot be seen, its weight can be felt by the person and it becomes harder to walk. The Obarion cannot be easily removed without use of magic, but it is said you can remove it and take it home. It will turn into many valuable gold coins. <laughs> Great. Of course it will. Now, Nathan, this might sound familiar to you since you love uh, JoJo. This might sound like something from part four. Yeah, there, there was a, a stand that attached itself to a, a person's back. Was it Cheap Trap? Yes, it, I believe in the in the American version. Yeah, not it was, Cheap Trick. Yeah. <laughs> they say Cheap Trick, but it says Cheap Trap. 
I love the idea of this demon. It's like the least <laughs> aggressive thing. Yeah. Just wants to piggyback. <laughs> it's like, hey, can you take me somewhere? <laughs> so I guess in order to draw this, I've got to draw the the person upon which it's piggybacking. Yeah, so naturally. This is, this is just like some average Joe. Some average schmuck wandering the Japanese countryside. <laughs> yeah, and he's just like, why is my back so heavy? <laughs> I mean, they did say it's invisible, so I guess you don't have to draw it at all. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna hint at it. <laughs> but if you take him home, you get gold coins. Yeah, he turns into gold coins. That's so funny. <laughs> so just an invisible weight becomes coins. <laughs> you just walk home and just like an like invisible sack just pours out on your floor. It's full of gold coins. Do you think that's painful for the Obarion to, like, transmute into a bunch of coins? Do you think that when he's born into his form, he's like, oh, man, I'm, I have this thing now? Like, I'm, <laughs> my fate is told to me. Like, I'm going to become a sack of gold coins. I'm going to be nothing sucks. after this. But he can't prevent himself from piggybacking. He no, loves it too he much. Sees yeah. a, he sees a back, and he's just like, I got to get on boy. there. Nice back. Oh, I love backs. It's a totally normal attraction. <laughs> So there's uh there's our guy and now yeah. I got to draw this invisible I guess we can see it. Yeah, yeah we we can see it. Cuz it it'd be silly to to put a, a creature in a game that you can't see. Oh man. Oh, oh. wow. Oh, he's big. Oh huh? yeah, he's real big. He's a, he's a big boy. Is that his little foot? <laughs> yeah. It's very cute so far. <laughs> like I wouldn't mind having this guy on my back. <laughs> just breathing down your back just like hey. Uh, I see you're going somewhere. You mind if I go with you? Do you think that if you tried to drive with him on your back, you wouldn't be able to fit in your car? And you're just like, why can't I? Why can't I get in right now? I feel like if this thing landed on your back, you would just fall flat on the ground and be unable to get up. That's true. Well, he's mostly air. Yeah, I was going to say, maybe he's like a big bean bag. Oh, he's like a sloth. Yeah. He has sloth arms and a pig nose like, like sloths do. Oh, yeah. I guess he's a sloth. Give sure, him some, why not? Give him some claws. But since he's a demon, he should have like 80 eyes. Yeah, if you could just draw 80 eyes. I'll give him a bunch of eyes. Now he looks like Stitch. He does look like Stitch now. <laughs> Just give him some more, some more eyes. Oh, he has eyes on his head, yeah. top of his head. I feel like he doesn't need this many eyes. He's not like a predator. He's just jumping on walking dudes. Well, he needs to be able to see where the best backs are. Yeah, he's he's when he's walking through downtown Tokyo, he's just like, I got to look at all those eyes or look at all those yeah, backs. Yeah, I got to scope those backs. That's true. Do you think that this creature, like the mythos of this creature, was born from a guy who was like trying to run away from an armed robbery? And it was just like, you know, the cops came up to him and he just like dropped all his money. He's like, oh, I don't know how that got there. Uh, I think a demon just turned into a. Bu- oh, I yeah. was cursed. Ooh, landed on my back. And I mean, it looks like gold coins now, but it wasn't. No, my back was hurting. I think, I think something was grabbing on to me. I think uh, to tie it into the first demon, it could be uh, Squirtle came home late one night. His mom was like, what took you so long? Uh, there was a demon on my back. <laughs> And I was just walking so slow, I couldn't... Nothing I could do with one of those folklore demons. You know how they are. Oh, but look, Mom, I have all this money for you. Ha ha, please no question. I think... Yeah, yeah. boy. I think this is... Wait, can, it, can you add one thing? Yeah, what? Can you put a little backpack on him? <laughs> That's where all the gold coins are. He's wearing something on his back, too. Yeah. It's, it's backpacks all the way down. It's backpacks all the way down. It's like a little version of him. <laughs> That's what I was yeah. thinking. <laughs> It's just what I wanted, Nathan. Nathan, it's a gift for me. I was the zipper of the mouth. <laughs> he's really yeah. long arms. It just looks like he's really long arms and legs. Yeah. And, uh, these are the least intimidating personas. Like if you summon these <laughs> in the game. I mean, there's some pretty non-intimidating personas out yeah, there. Yeah, I guess like Jack Frost is not very scary. Yeah. I mean, there's Belphegor, which is just a demon sitting on a toilet. <laughs> The Japanese shit demon. Don't don't let him in your house. He'll never get off the toilet. You blame him when you do like a real fast stinker and you don't want to take credit for it. <laughs> like, oh, it was it was Belfador, the shit demon. He stunk <laughs> up our toilet and clogged it. Don't, <laughs> it wasn't don't me. blame me. All right, should we uh, yeah, look let's, up let's look, this wait, dude? Okay, so this guy's name is... Uh... O-B-A-R-I-Y-O-N. Oh, wow. Like a frog? Okay. He's like a... I kind of got the mouth. He's got a little bowl cut. Oh, my God. <laughs> He's doing a little dance. I'm very into this and he weird does, child thing. He does yeah. have horns. <laughs> yeah, he's got horns. He looks. He has. He has the same haircut as the kid from Problem Child. <laughs> I I got pretty close. You did. I, I'm proud of you. I'm. You know. All right, let's get Julia. All right, Julia, yeah. bring us home. 
I watched someone play a bit of Persona a while ago, but it was uh, mostly watching him try to like go meet up with his friend after school after a hard test that he actually had to study for. So my knowledge of Persona has nothing to do with Personas. Well, that that is half the game. Okay. Now, I don't know how to pronounce this. Oh, wonderful. Name? Good. It's a good start. T- uh, Talata Chutli. Talat Chutli. It's T L A L T E C H U T L I. And one of the Mexico Mexico creation accounts is described as a sea monster who dwelled in the ocean after the fourth great flood, an embodiment of the raging chaos before creation. Quetzalcoatl and Texcalipoca, in the form of serpents, tore her in half, throwing her half throwing her half upwards to create the sky and stars and leaving the other half to become the land of the earth. She remained alive, however, and demanded human blood. <laughs> so wait, it's in it's in two halves? And one half is the sky and one half is the earth. Yes, and she demands human and blood. And it represents the raging embodiment of creation. <gasps> Julia, just do that real quick. You killed Julia. Because <laughs> I have to draw two personas now. It's one persona that's been yeah. halved into the sky and the earth. Yes. You know. So get a sky one, get an earth one, and make sure there's some human blood in Is there. this like a boss persona, or are they all this ridiculous? I believe this is a boss. Like, the usually, like, um, gods from other, from different religions turn out to be bosses or, like, very high-ranking personas that like take you to the end of the game to make or find you make personas in the game you fuse yes you uh you could yeah you combine personas like you meet personas in dungeons oh wow and then you uh you combine them when you go to the velvet room <laughs> what <laughs> the velvet room like that jazz lounge it pretty much is that except it Takes different forms in different games. The Velvet Room, I think they describe it as a place between consciousness and sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I, Julius God is uh, not having it. Um, so, I'm, oh, I see. It's like an earthworm because that's how it would it would be cut in half and still exist. Is that what you're going for? I did not listen to a word you just said. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Julia, Julia has uh, has transcended into into drawing mode. I can't. I'm all of my effort, all of my brain power is going into how to parse this split demon Mexican god creature worm serpent thing. I'm the sky and the earth. Bring me your human blood, everybody. <laughs> oh yeah. Yum yum yum. <laughs> Mm, I just love human blood. Oh, I'm dripping a little bit out my mouth. I had so much to eat for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> they cut it right down the middle, like that. <laughs> oh, and it's got that little, <laughs> the little meat, yeah, uh, little, little little ham hock <laughs> looking section. I need this to line up. Yeah, of course. It has to be perfect. It has to be good. There we yeah. go. Now remember, if you don't bring me more human blood, I cause earthquakes. <laughs> 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 oh my god. <laughs> this is like, besides the face, this looks kind of rad. <laughs> yeah, the, the floating wings and like the halo thing is pretty cool. <laughs> and the face is just... <laughs> it's like, someday I'm going to get the rest of my body back. Oh, the rest of his body is, of course, a butt and some legs. Nice. <laughs> I'm going to get that Quetzalcoatl for ripping me in half. <laughs> I tell you what. I tell you what. <laughs> You see that kid's a quarrel, tell him, I'm coming for you. <laughs> Just as soon as I find my butt. Just as soon as I find my butt and get some more human blood. Mm-mm-mm. You know, they say, oh, is the best kind. <laughs> it's because when I drink it, it makes me go, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's just... He's shrugging. This is his, like, <laughs> this is like teen comedy pose. It's like, uh-oh. <laughs> Looks like I'm in trouble. Where is my backhand? <laughs> Why would you do this to me? Well, Johnny's been missing for a few days. People are asking questions. I'm just going to say, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you guys know there's not been any earthquakes. <laughs> what would you rather have, little Johnny, or some earthquakes? <laughs> you can't have both. <laughs> All right, so we've got multiple legs on the on the bottom part as well. Yep. Julia, I don't know what you know about serpents, but I don't think they're uh, typically known for their numerous and myriad legs. <laughs> I think they probably, they grew the legs after they got cut in half as an evolutionary tact. They were like, well. 
Yeah, the legs grew because it's looking for the top half. Right. So the bottom half is and also... it needs to walk around fast. Separately yeah. trying to find the top half. Yeah, the bottom half is just like... <laughs> spurting blood. I imagine people are going to have issues with my serpent having legs. I don't... Let me just... No. Let me just... No, don't worry about it. Give it one big leg. Let me just... Okay. Let me just do this. What's Julia gonna do? He just kind of drags him. Oh, there, so he has <laughs> so, legs. So he still work. has legs, but he's not using them. Yeah, okay. it's a loophole. <laughs> no one would have issue with this. No. The people who took issue with having the legs was like, I'm only gonna be satisfied if those legs are not functional. <laughs> a serpent can have vestigial. legs. Those legs better be vestigial. <laughs> or so help me God, I will contact Jim Droppy himself and get this show removed from the air. <laughs> oh, no, not Jim Droppy. Oh, it's got another face on its tail. <laughs> I'm the earth one. <laughs> I'm definitely less fortunate. That happened to me. I still, I still want human blood, though. <laughs> Please don't forget that. Oh, it's got some horns. Very important. <laughs> God, Julia. He's got like a little, a little devil tail. <laughs> it's, a, it's, like a tail coming out of, it's like a rat tail for the, for the actual tail. <laughs> uh, it turns out it doesn't have to be Pokemon. <laughs> for me to ruin it. <laughs> I'm going to have to send you the link so you can see what the real thing looks like because I don't want to have to spell that. Uh, that's very fair. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, send us the link. I want to I wanna look got at it. it. Yeah. Okay. Is I that? I think he's. I think. I. I think so. Okay. Julia. Right. He's a. He's a treat. I think this should be what it is. Whatever. Whatever this. <laughs> this link is. I'm excited to see what it really looks like. Oh. Uh, it's like a. It's like a lady. Uh, it's like a lady with tubes. It's a tu- It's like a tube. It's like a tube she lady. She has tubes with... coming out of her boobs. I mean, she looks like a lava lady. It's wretched, and I hate her. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to play this game. This sounds rad and good. Yeah, I'm with you. you. I think you would enjoy it. Terrence, thank you so much for hosting this episode, giving us our our prompts, taking us on this this wonderful journey. Where can people find more of your stuff? If you go to Twitter, at the Black Nerd, um, you can find me there. There's uh, the theblacknerd.tumblr.com is where I post most of my stuff. And your podcast is called? Uh, whatever we call it. That's the actual name. Yeah. That's a good, that's yes. a good name. Yeah. Oh, and I also, did a, I also do a video game podcast, of which I've had uh, Nathan and Caldwell on, which is a... Uh, the We Heart Video Game Show. Jacob drew the logo for that, right? Jacob drew the logo for uh, We Heart Video Games, and Caldwell did the logo for uh, whatever we call it. That's awesome. Now I got to get Nathan to do me a I'll logo. I'll do a logo. Yeah. <laughs> then we can all be intertwined. <laughs> yes. Well, guys, this has been Drafi Does Persona for Memory. Thank you guys for watching. Check out our Facebook page. Watch us on Twitch every Sunday. And, you know, just find find your inner serpent lady. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> you don't want to have me as your persona. Hold, hold on to your blood. <laughs> Make sure no one takes your blood. And uh, as always, we are very sorry. Sorry. Sorry.